Hi, welcome to Freezer Burns. I'm your host, Greg, the Frozen Food Master, and you're joining me as I eat my way through the freezer aisle one box at a time. Today, I'm reviewing this. Brand new from Smart Ones, it's the Smart Ones Chicken Fajitas. What do we got going on here? Grilled white meat chicken with seasoned pepper and onions and a side of rice and beans. Two tortillas included, seven Weight Watcher points plus, and $2.50 for this box. I'm ready to get this out of the box. I'm going to put it in the microwave. When I come back, I'll tell you how it looks, how it smells, and I'll get this down deep into my belly. Okay, we're back. Here's what happened. Smart Ones Chicken Fajitas came in two packets. We got the tortillas in a separate plastic packet, and we have a black tray, black plastic tray, where the rice and the chicken and the peppers and the onions were in. You put this thing in first, two and a half minutes, pull back the film, stir, one minute. Then you take it all out and then you put the, the tortilla packet in for 25 seconds. Here's how it looks. As you can see, while it may look like more of a muddy brown in color, um, the chicken stands out and you got a lot of spice going on around the peppers, or at least it looks like spice. The rice, it's not like a typical red tomatoey Mexican rice, but it does have, it's not white rice either. It has some, uh, some, you know, some sort of spice or seasoning going on there. And a little added ben but, uh, benefit, a little added bonus, corn and beans mixed into the rice. Really dig it. Now, the tortillas. These are small little tortillas. Uh, these are more like taco sized tortillas, not fajita sized tortillas. Um, they look, they feel like corn tortillas, but they're actually, they feel like corn tortillas, but they're actually flour tortillas. So what do we got going on here? I'm going to have to kind of compile my own fajita. Now what I do like is that it came separate. And the reason why, remember I did those um, Korean barbecue tacos by Saffron Road. There is something, there's a problem when you have to cook the ingredients and the shell or the tortilla in the microwave at the same time. It's not a problem when you put it in the oven and it's something like a taquito um, or a chimichanga, but it is a problem for some reason when you want a nice, soft, warm tortilla shell and you want a hot, scalding, fully prepped, um, saucy ingredients like in a taco. In this case, we got, you know, I mean, they're moist, but they're not saucy. Um, and we got some good uh, rice, some beans, some peppers, some chicken, all in this flour tortilla. Let's see how this tastes. Okay, as expected, the tortilla out of the microwave um, is chewy, um, a little too chewy. But not where you're like, this is horrible, I'm not going to eat it, um, but it's, it's not perfect. There's a, a little, a little, 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 little bit of kick, little spice going on on the inside. And so if you do want some extra spiciness action going on here, you're going to want to bring your own hot sauce and add it before you add it to the shell. I'm going to, um, let me take one more bite and then I'm going to give you the full review. Yeah. This has all the makings of a fajita. It's exactly what you think you're going to get. But in terms of a full fajita experience, and I, I know this is a $2.50 meal coming out of the microwave, but what do you have to compare it to, right? You have it compared to getting fajitas at a restaurant where it's coming out on that nice iron skillet and it's just like, it's sizzling and then, you know, you, you, wear, you hope that you're not wearing polar fleece because then your, your whole jacket smells like it for the rest of the night. But what is it, is it missing? It's missing the cold stuff. It's missing the lettuce, the tomato, the sour cream, the guacamole, the salsa. That would make this a full experience. You're gonna to have to add that in itself uh, to, to this meal. But if, you, if this is all you care about, if you care about just the warm stuff with the tortilla and you want a nice smart ones benefit, 
because let's face it, this is only 290 calories for this meal. You're not going to be disappointed. It's got a nice little bit of spice, not spice where you're, where um, it, it's it's more of a general public spice. One of the, the spiciness where you're like, yes, that's a little bit of kick. You know me, I want a little bit more, but I'm not docking it for this. In fact, I'm not docking it for anything except the tortillas are not 100% perfect. I really, really like this meal. I think it's a good meal. I think it's a meal that's going to fill you up, and I think it's a meal that you're going to be like, yes, I can have Mexican, uh, Mexican food with only 290 calories and 5 grams of fat. I give this a four and a half, four and a half out of five star rating. Question of the day. And I did a video about this um, a couple weeks ago about fajitas. I happen to, whenever I go to a Mexican restaurant, I get the fajitas that have like one of everything. You get the beef, you get the chicken, and you have some sort of seafood. And my preference is um, a really nice shrimp. What is your preference for fajitas? What do you like to put in them? Or you go veggie style? Leave it in the comments section. As always, I'm your host, Greg, the Frozen Food Master. This has been another review of Freezer Burns. Thanks for watching. See you next time.